there can be a situation wherein the buyer has agreed to take over assets as well as liabilities of a business. So students, in this case, the entry for recording the purchase of assets would be assets account debited to liabilities. Remember, assets would be at their agreed value or book value. Liabilities would also be at their agreed value in case it is given. If not given, then at their book values that are given in the question. To vendors, that is the amount agreed to be paid to vendors as purchase consideration. Now students, in case the buyer has agreed to compensate vendors equal to his capital employed, the amount of this entry will tally that means the debit side would be equal to the credit side but very often the valuations differ that is the purchase consideration might not be equal to the capital employed in the business so in case assets are valued higher than what has been agreed to paid that means the debit side is higher we will put in the balance as capital reserve this is the difference in the value and it is quite possible that the liability side or credit side is higher then we'll put in goodwill on the debit side again it is difference of the value i'll put in star in front of goodwill and capital reserve as only one of these two will appear right in case debit side total is higher then we'll put in capital reserve goodwill will not appear and in case the total of the credit side is higher then we'll put in goodwill on the debit side with the differential value so as to balance out the entry remember only one of them will appear either goodwill or capital reserve once this general entry has been done then the payment to the vendors can be made in exactly the same manner as we had done previously that is vendors can be paid partly in cash and partly by issue of debentures which can be issued at par or at premium. 